Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm here with the amazing Molly R. Stern. Thank you. Yeah, she's dedicated <laughs> to the middle name. I am. Um, <laughs> but I'm so happy that you're here today on my channel. Thank you for having me. Yeah, of course. She's an incredible makeup artist, so creative and amazing. And uh, we have mutual friends mm -hmm. and they brought us together and I think it's a great match. I already think so too. Yeah, we've been bonding a little bit <laughs> and she's gonna do my makeup. We're gonna do uh we asked you guys and we're we're giving you what you want people. <laughs> we're giving you what you want. We are we did a poll on Instagram to see if you wanted more skin or more eyes and you guys chose eyes so we're gonna teach you daytime smoky eye. Smoky eye is the biggest request that I get as a makeup artist of what people want to learn. I'm gonna do a little twist on it and show you how you could do it during the day because I think a lot of people as we were discussing tend to think that a smoky eye has to be black or, black or charcoal or silver or dark. And there's a whole spectrum of color that we're missing out on that that you can totally smoke it out, but you know, play around and tweak the traditional concept of it. Right. My whole thing is, because I have a 13 year old, so I'm just entering the teendom with you guys. Right. Thank you. <laughs> Thanks for having me. But I, I, I do, you know, I, I see her and her friends want to wear stuff, want to wear makeup, of course, but you've got your whole life to pound it on. Right. Keep it fresh, keep it lighter. You, there's so much you can play with without overdoing it. Right. That's my mother slash makeup artist tip. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. It's a double. Yeah. I doubled you up there. Yeah. Mother makeup artist. Yeah, Thank exactly. you. Exactly. <laughs> I'm just gonna Let's do it. Get into it. Let's build it up. <laughs> See you out there. Hi everyone. So before we get into this video fully, um, I just need to quickly um, talk about how distracted I've been. I have been very distracted by editing my video because I've been playing Cooking Fever. I'm literally obsessed, I'm addicted, and it's been distracting me from everything because I'm very competitive and I love to like get to the next level. I'm on level 14 right now, but I'm pretty obsessed and I'm gonna show you myself playing because it's so good. Okay guys, so I'm on level 14 you guys should download cooking fever so then you can play with me i think that would be so much fun and then let me know in the comments down below what level you are on because i'm only on level 14 but i'm gonna try and <laughs> pass through all these levels by tonight okay so my goal is 240 so first what i do just like to prepare so just so i'm really ready i do an extra one too so i can set all of them up just because I get really stressed if I don't have them prepared in time. And so, hot dog. So basically what you're doing is you're just making the meals for everyone. And you see, when you do it right, you collect the coins. Okay, so I'm just going to show you guys an example. So see, it's starting to go like this. It's red. And if it starts to stay on for too long, it will burn and turn black. Just like that. And then she will get really mad and want to walk away. But this is basically the game. It's so much fun. It's actually addicting. Okay, guys, I'm about to pass. And I passed with three stars, which means I passed what I was supposed to get. I was supposed to get 240 coins. I ended up getting 640 six coins. If you go up to this little thing on the left, this little bar has 12. These are my tasks and I ended up actually completing all my tasks so I can claim and then I get extra coins which is really exciting and then achievement unlocked. So see? I've always loved games growing up but like this game has really uh, helped me find my love again for games. It's so much fun. It's your brain working and it helps you multitask, which is really fun. Like I said before, comment down below what level you're on. Currently, I'm on 15 now because I just passed level 14 and I feel accomplished. I just had to talk about this and explain to you guys why I haven't posted this video is because I've been so distracted playing. Anyways, let's get back on to the video. So we 
put a little foundation and a teeny bit of blush just so we had a good base. But I was saying, just as a quick side note, that for really beautiful skin, take an extra few minutes to moisturize your skin and massage yourself. A little self-love, a little self-care. It's super good for you and it makes your foundation wear prettier and longer. So, I mean. We didn't have to do much. <laughs> so the thing for a daytime smoky eye, any smoky eye, daytime or nighttime, is building. People often start with their darkest color and then you have nowhere to go. It's always easier to add than take away. She's a sage, already a sage. This is MAC Groundwork, it's a classic. Mm -hmm, I love that. I love it. Do it with your finger or you can use a brush. I'm gonna use a brush. And I'm just gonna base the whole lid up to the crease with this shade. Mm -hmm. Step one, but kind of gives a little bit of a smoldery dirtiness to the yes. eyes. And you don't need too much. Also, if you're short on time and you're like, I just want to feel like a little bit of something, boom. Take a smaller brush or you can use a Q-tip. Same color. And I'm gonna just softly smudge underneath. Short on time, I want to feel a little smoldery. I want to have something going on. I mean, I mean that's already a look in itself. It's already really looking. <laughs> I really like the look of it. A little more bronzy. This is also a cream, Jill Dempsey. This you could pop over it if you wanted a little bit of sheen. You can always build cream on top of cream on top of cream. Oh, now we have a little bit of a glow, a little iridescent. I love that. I love glossy lids. I think they're so pretty. So do I. And I love, I know you've already talked about this before, glossy but I love lid. the glossy lid star. Same concept. You don't have to uh, have expensive products to make a look like this. You can use oh, no. store products. I do think it is Maybelline that does the tattoo. Yeah, Am the I tattoo. Right? Yeah, yeah, I think that's, and they have an amazing matte taupey color, which to me, a great taupe is a must have because it's great for that sort of neutral eye. You can build on it, you can darken it, you can use it as contour. Yeah, that's true. So get a good topey tope. Soaps. That's great. Topey tope. Topey tope soaps. So one of my favorite topesy tope soaps. This is an art. <laughs> this is a powder. You can wear it on your eyes, you can wear it as a contour. You know, you can wear it on your feet. <laughs> I'm just you're going to, for that I'm, bronze. You're going toe for the look. Taupe, taupe toes. <laughs> This is your Toby 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 Toby. Toby. kind of the same thing, but I'm giving it a little more longevity by setting it with the Toby Tope Toes. powder, Toby Tope Toes. <laughs> That'll be our next tutorial. The great thing about Tope is it's such a great neutral that if you have brown eyes, it's going to pop that golden color of your brown. If you're blue or green, that got really, that was a really loud swallow there. <laughs> taupe also for blue eyes, yes, gorgeous, green eyes, or if you've got those like lavender eyes. Mm. Taupe is a great neutral tone because it's, it's sort of a mix of all. It's got a little bit of yellow in it. It's got a little bit of orange in it. It's got a little bit of pink in it. A real true taupe kind of has everything, so it pops everything. Yeah. I'm a mixer. I'm a real, I, I really take the artist of the makeup artist part seriously. I'm dipping into a Laura Mercier color called um, Coffee Grind. Coffee Ground. Coffee Ground. It's not past tense, guys. <laughs> Coffee Ground. And then this super dark brown color in a Dior. I love these Dior five couleurs. Palette farts, a papier's eyeshadow palette. Thanks, I'm French, guys. When you go dark, the darkest shade should be at the base so that you can fuse it out and blend right. it out. Right, so now I'm gonna just intensify the lash line with that deeper brown and then you start to get some real definition mm -hmm. going without having to put black on your eye correct it's so quick to get to that raccoon thing it, you, you yeah and then it gets all over the face and it's dribbly dribbly i love your words <laughs> i like to really be dribbly 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 well you know like oh you get black dribble dribbles on your cheek don't forget <laughs> it you gotta wash your whole face off Am I right? Yeah, you're right. Okay, so. So back into that basic taupe color, and that's where I start to get to fuse that mm. darker shade again. And I'm just sort of extending the top of that darker shade. And then you can look at it and go, okay, well, I want it to be even richer. So I'll go back into those darker tones and maybe draw it up higher into the lid. But you see, I'm incrementally adding it. 
And like you said, it's so much easier to add than it is to take away. Right. My favorite thing to do is to finish off with something that's like rich or um, has a little more steam to it as far as color mm -hmm. is concerned. This is discontinued. Oh, <laughs> I love you. I love you. Um, sorry to see you go. Laura Mercier cream metallic cream shadow. So if you why guys, did you do that to us? Why did you do it to us? And also if you find anything in your searches that is similar, please let me know. This is like a richer copper tone. So again, we're just showing you how you can build the eye from a really basic, easy smoky eye to like getting a little bit more, you know, succulent and dramatic. Right. A little bit more intense, right? We're just building it. That's the thing is building. And also knowing when to pull it back, knowing what, what's the purpose. Like if you're going to school, maybe just step one and two is all you need. You're going out at night and you want to bump it up. Now you're getting in there. I'm even going to use brown mascara. Um, so I'm going to use a disposable wand because I am really into sanitary vibes. Me too. You don't want a sty or a pink eye. No, please don't share your mascara with people. You can always do black mascara if you're like, oh, I def I do want that like, you know, finishing kind of edge. All right. I mean, homegirl's got good lashes. Thank you. You welcome. <laughs> I mean, simple, easy, real pretty. Yeah, I love it. I think it's really wearable as well. Like, I know it's it's more elevated from what we started at, but you still, it's perfect for going out maybe later. Yeah, day. yeah, yeah. And that's also, I think, really nice to be able to build your look easily and not feel like, oh, I have to go home and start over. Oh, yeah. You know, if you do that hope as your base, dust a little bit of powder. By the way, you don't even need a taupey eyeshadow over it. If you have a translucent powder, all you need is your mid-range tone or you know, either your taupe or your bronze base color. C put that on and then you can dust it over with a translucent powder and it'll wear really nicely. All right. And then the other thing we were talking about is not to be limited to black gray or brown, but taking your smoky eye and adding a little bit of color to it. Ta -da, ta -da, ta -da. I'm going into one of my favorite Urban Decay palettes and I'll go into this rich purple. It's called Sketch. Sketch. Kind of taking the darker shade at the base and then blending up. That's a key for any smoky eye. Darkest color at the base, fuse and blend it up. Just adding a little bit of purple on top of here. That's my favorite color. Oh, well, hello there, guys. I didn't, <laughs> even, I didn't even know that. Well, now you do. Well, welcome to the party. <laughs> Taking a purple mascara. I love that. And putting a wand in there. So this is the Dior Bright Purple. Dior Ooh, purple. Yes. These are incredible. They just sent these and they're like so many amazing colors. Such a fun way to incorporate color into your. Cause it's very subtle. And then once you see it up close, it's like, whoa. Right. I love like when I'm at the bank or something or the grocery store and somebody's got on color. I'm like, I love that color on your lashes. I love that. If you guys watching, you should try and experiment with different colors. Cause it's not going to hurt you, you know, especially if you're young. Like play with color, now's the time. Right. My favorite part about makeup is it's not permanent. You can take it off if you don't like it. Right. See how it makes you feel for one day and then see what kind of reactions you get. See how it makes you feel. Play with that feeling of utilizing this as a tool to see how you can feel differently about yourself. Right, and you can express yourself through makeup. That's why I love it so much. Definitely, when it comes to smoky eye, I'm generally a fan of keeping the lip a little bit more mellow. Right. So. I love, this is like a sheer red from this brand Buxom. Mm, I love Buxom. Yeah. So then there's something fresh about it also, that when it's got a little bit of color instead of it being perfectly nude or perfectly matte. It looks really gorgeous. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> yeah, this is, this is it, folks. Did it, did it, did it, did it, did it, did it, did it. I love it. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Thank you so much for being on my channel. Thank you, you guys. for having me. Yes, of course. You guys have to go check out her Instagram and her socials. I will link it all in the description down below. You have to check her out. She's incredible. Incredible, guys. You're so incredible. Thanks. That's actually my real name, Incredible. <laughs>
Lars turn. I hope you guys took something from this and try it out just for fun, just to experiment. Paul says, That's right. if you can't love yourself, how are you going to love someone else? It's so true. And I mean love yourself. Like, kiss yourself in the mirror. Smile at yourself in the mirror. Tell yourself you love yourself because it will change you if you do it. So yeah, love yourself. That's really important. That's my tip. I love it. Everyone take from that. Yeah, do it. Right now. Do it! <laughs> yeah, thanks for watching. Thanks Bye, for having everyone. me. Bye, everyone. Bye-bye.